Hello and OMG, welcome back to my channel where today we have another fun lash video because I'm going to be showing you lashes that I found at Target. So if you wanna see if they are guilty of being worthy of your dollars, then go ahead and keep on watching. So like I said in my intro, I went to Target, I did some grocery shopping and I went through the lash section. And usually when I go through the lash section, I end up walking away because lately I have been seeing lashes that are so expensive at Target that start off, or not start off, that you know, around $12, $18, $16. I'm just like, what? This is Target. Like, why are lashes so expensive? But I found some lashes for under $10 that I wanted to share with you all. Now, if you are new here, hi, I'm Legal Beauty, aka Helena. I do a ton of lash reviews here on my channel. So make sure you subscribe, click the bell so you get notified of every time that I do upload a video. I do try to upload at least twice a week if um, my schedule gets a little bit hectic because I have a job, I have family, I have a personal life where things just happen you guys like life happens um sometimes i will only be able to load once a week but i still try to at least get something up for you so make sure you subscribe so you can get all the notifications of my lash reviews of any reviews that i do because i'm very honest i'm a consumer just like you so i keep it real real so I have three pairs of lashes here. Um, obviously I don't have on them right now. And just to kind of go with the Target theme, I did some red lipstick. It is from, oh my God, where did I just put it? Cause I know you guys are going to ask. I always get asked what my lip combos are. By the time I edit my video, it goes up. I have no idea which one I used. So give me one second. Okay, I found it. It is the Lip Fondant from Half Caked. It is in the color Bordeaux. I actually did a review on this of my favorite red lipsticks. So this is a really, really good one. You guys should go ahead and get it if you are in the market for a red lipstick. So I wanted to keep the Target vibes. Target is red and white, like off the shoulder top, red, hoops, good to go. So I need to put eyeliner on one eye. Reason is I show you all what the lashes look like with an eye with eyeliner, with an eye without eyeliner. I'm going to be using the NYX epic wear brown liner in the color brown so i'll be right back okay so let's we're gonna go in alphabetical order i am alphabetical i cannot talk today i am on target's website and these i have right here were six dollars and 89 cents they are the ardell eyelashes 3d foamique they're in the number 854 now i wanted to pick these up because um, I haven't really seen a lash like this out there. This one right here is very like fuzzy in a way. It's very bushy. It's very full. Usually we get like more wispy lashes lately. Um, lashes that kind of look like lash extensions in a way. This is sealed shut, which is a good thing. Um, I'm going to take it out of the box so I can show you. But yeah, I was on the hunt for lashes that look different that we have not really tried out here on my channel. Um, and these ones right here just looked so different to me. I've never tried on a lash that looks like this. So I was super stoked here. It is outside the box. Again, it looks very bushy. It doesn't have any wisp. As you can see, usually lashes nowadays have like, you know, short hair, long hair. They have like a wisp to them to kind of make them look more natural. Like, um, I feel like I don't really see lashes like this out there anymore. This is what it looks like outside the packaging. The hairs look very hair-like. They look like real human hair, even though they are 3D foaming. Only thing that looks like it's gonna be a problem is there's a lot of adhesive stuck to the lash. So before you apply them on, you definitely just wanna use your fingers, be as gentle as you can, go section by section on the lash and peel off the adhesive that is on the lash. Now, if you don't already know, the adhesive is already put on the lash so that it sticks inside the box or else your lashes are going to be flying around the packaging. Um, if you are someone who doesn't like having the patience to do this, you're gonna to have to have the patience anyways. So I don't think I'm gonna to have to trim these down now for glue, we're going to be using the duo glue with the green writing. You can find this at your local drugstore. It's really nothing special. But what I like about this glue the most is that it's very tacky. So when it dries down, it's very sticky. It's not like the other duo glues where they're more of like a liquid form and you have to let them set for like, you have to let the glue sit for at least a minute for it to get tacky so that it could stick to your lashes. This one is different. This one goes on where it looks almost blue. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's such a good glue. This is the type of glue that will last all day. Um, it really, really sticks onto your lids. So you will not have an issue with this glue. I only recommend this one. Kiss um, has their own version of this glue as well. Um, who else makes a tacky one? Guard, Garde or Guard Beauty um, makes a good one. 
Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and wiggle this one right here. We always have to give it a good little wiggle. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on. So we're gonna do a wear test, you guys. Um, if you're new here, I tell you how comfortable the lash is. Um, you guys see right now how easy it goes on or how difficult the lash goes on. Um, one thing that is important to me, at least when wearing a lash, is does it obstruct like my vision? Meaning that when I look straight ahead, are there hairs that are, do you see like a shadow of hair? And if you do, that can be really annoying. Um, so if you're someone who doesn't like lashes where, you know, when you look straight ahead, you kind of just see them floating around. You might not like that. Um, I also tell you guys, if the lashes hit your eyelids, um, if they tickle your eyelids, sometimes that can be uncomfortable for you folks out there as well. So yeah, I do a complete wear test with you all here on camera. I'll give you my honest thoughts and opinions. I'm having trouble getting this one on the eye without the eyeliner. It's how it always is. I don't like to edit these things out because I try to show you guys, are these lashes, you know, ones that you would use on the go? Are, you know, they more of like, okay, if you're gonna wear this lash, you're gonna have to take some time to put it on because it's a little tricky to put on. So I just try to show and be as thorough as possible with you guys. Long story short, I have the lash reviews. You did not know that you need it. So I think this is the best we're gonna get. Oh Lord. Okay. So this one's hard to get on without eyeliner, but um, what do you guys think of this one? Again, it's in the style 854. Now I'm gonna turn to the left and the right so you guys can get a side profile of how the lashes look like when they protrude out. I think there's nothing cuter than when you see it curl like so. So let's go ahead and go to the left. And now to the right. So you wanna pay attention to how they curl up. Okay, so as far as how they feel, um, the lash band is thin and it's flexible. The right one was obviously very hard to put on as you guys saw, um, but wearing them, they do feel lightweight. They are pretty comfortable. Um, they don't feel heavy at all for these lashes being like a bigger lash. They, the band is not weighing your eyes down. When you look straight ahead, because these lashes have more of a curl, you do see lashes going up. Good thing is it's not really going to get in the way of your vision. Um, the only thing that would concern you if you are someone who's kind of like sensitive to what is touching your eye space, these lashes curl up. So they kind of touch towards your crease on your eyelid. So you do feel them, especially when you blink, floating around, kind of like and the hair is kind of just glide, like, you know, hitting your lids. If that is something that bugs you and you don't like the feel of that, then you need a lash that protrudes more straight and not as curled. Um, this one, it won't really bug me, but if you're somebody who just doesn't like that feeling overall, you will not like these lashes. Now, this one will not stay. And I put on that glue, which is really good. I don't want to keep putting on more glue because I'm going to be, um, trying on more lashes with you guys. But as far as how they look, I actually really like them. These are different than something that I've seen before they look a lot thicker in the packaging but honestly they kind of just look like lash extensions in a way and that's because they don't have that crazy wispy look to them where the lashes go really short and then long or they're very thick kind of like the lashes from the lash bar la baby lashes lily lashes um Calla lashes, uh, Shop Miss A lashes, where you can tell they're kind of like, you know, fake lashes. These ones you could get away with the look of lash extensions. I do think that they look better on the eye with eyeliner. Um, um, it's just really hard to get them to stick down without eyeliner. And I don't know, I think they look, mm, I don't know. In my opinion, you guys can have a different opinion. They look better on the eye um, with eyeliner. The hairs don't look as bushy with um, the lash on. They actually look thinner and they're actually nice. This reminds me of a lash that's really nice for the holidays, especially with like the red lip. Like I'm getting very much like winter vibes, Christmas vibes. So I think this is a good lash to just set aside for the holidays, which are coming up so soon. It's already August, you guys. To me, August is when fall starts. So I already have my pumpkins, like I'm bringing out all my fall stuff. I have my pumpkin candles out. I have my house smelling like pumpkins because my candles burn the scent of a pumpkin. Oh my God, so delicious, so good. Anyways, I'm getting off track. But yes, these lashes remind me of basically like something I would do for like a very pretty holiday look for like a holiday party. But you could still use them for non-holidays. That's just 
my opinion. So let's move on to the next lash. All right, so the next one I have is House of Lashes. Now House of Lashes is also sold at Target. If you didn't know, I did a lash review on House of Lashes. Make sure you check it out. Pleasantly surprised there. Um, these ones are the House of Lashes Siren Double Classic Collection, and they were $8.99. It says on here the packaging, it's 100% natural fibers, yada, 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 and basically, yeah. So these lashes come in the uh, bluish kind of packaging. They normally come in like a pink packaging. Now these ones right here just look so different to me. I haven't really seen a lash like this one out there either. So let me go ahead and take it out of the box so I could show you what it looks like up close just because there is the glare of my light. This is what they look like. These ones right here give me very much natural vibes. I love how they have like this wisp right here. They are tapered at the ends. I typically don't like lashes that are tapered at the ends, but I haven't really seen a lash like this in a while. MAC used to have one that looked like these, but I think they were more of like a brown colored lash. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and trim this one out. Oh, let me show you the band real quick. So this band is very thin as well. It's very flexible. The hairs are nice. They're a little shiny there, but don't worry about that. That we have seen before here on my channel that if there are lashes that look shiny um you know in the packaging sometimes when they go on they don't look shiny at all and they actually look like a foamy lash um, so i'm just going to trim down the edges of this band real quick because they're kind of pointing out apply the glue And then let's take the other one out. Just be very careful also when you're cleaning your lashes. Um, try not to be heavy handed and pull too hard because you will rip your lashes. You could definitely get your lashes to be reused up to at least 12 times. Sometimes if you guys are very gentle and delicate with your lashes, you could get um, up to like 30 wears out of your lashes. So be careful. Um, but anyways, I love Target. Oh my God, do you guys love Target? I love Target. I'm at Target at least two to three times a week getting groceries, getting random stuff. And Target is like the place you fall down the rabbit hole. You walk out with stuff with you're like, I did not come in here for this, but it's going home with me. Oh, that went on really easy. Kind of give this one a little bit of a wave. I put on a little bit too much glue on this one. All right. Okie dokie. So this one was in the style. I want to say double siren is what it's called. This is what it looks like. Now, I'm sure you guys can see these ones don't have as much of a curl. Um, they kind of just go straight up. But you know what? while oh, let me not tell you guys what i think yet <laughs> let me tell you how they feel um they're super lightweight you guys these ones are the type of lashes where you would wear them throughout the day you would probably forget that they are on because the lashes aren't so thick they're not clumpy they're not big lashes they're more on the natural side they kind of gather more in the front of the lashes is where you really get the volume um that's what helps make this lash very lightweight when you're wearing it now when you look straight ahead you do see some lash hairs it won't bother you um what's nice though is that these lashes even though they go up towards the center. They're not poking your eye space. So they're very, very comfortable. The band is comfortable. Now, in terms of how they look, I actually really like these. These reminds me of like old school Mac eyelashes. They had a pair, I'm telling you guys, that look a lot like these, but they were like brown, but I want to say they kind of were like a cheaper like hair. Um, I typically don't like tapered lashes, but I really like how these ones just completely go straight up in the middle of your eye. They kind of just give your eye a more lifted, natural, um, awake look in a way. They kind of just pull your eyes up. My eyes are already big as it is, but I feel like they kind of just make them look more awake. I think these lashes are good for more of those natural days. I don't really think if you did a dramatic eye, this lash would complement a dramatic eyeshadow look. I think it's something that's more for the natural days. So I do think it looks better without the eyeliner. I feel like if you do a thick eyeliner like I did, it's going to overshadow the beauty of the lash. So if you're going to do eyeliner, do something where maybe you just connect um, 
a line right here to here to kind of make it look like you're wearing eyeliner, but you're not. Little eyeliner trick. Um, but anyways, yeah, I really like this lash. It's $8.99. I know that's a little up there for me, in my opinion, for a natural lash. My phone will always be going off when I film. Um, but I really, really like House of Lashes. So anyways, if you want to go see more House of Lashes lashes I review, um, go to that video. So I have one more lash here. I only wanted to do three because I didn't want to overwhelm y'all. And again, I want to make this an ongoing series as well. Um, and I use my own money, so this gets expensive. So, um, I want to start off with three just to see how I like these. But anyways, I have right here the Kiss Lash Couture Naked Drama False Lashes in the style chiffon these are supposed to be a full and fluffy volumed lash this is what the packaging looks like i really like the packaging that kiss lashes use it's very like nice um it is a little plasticky but i mean it's cute or whatever um let me go ahead and undo this so i can show you all what she looks like in her full effect now i have seen similar lashes to these before but I have not seen, um, I didn't see this launch from Kiss, if this was the launch, and the Naked Drama. So that's why I picked them up. I was like, huh, I haven't seen this before. So I want to show you guys. Um, this band is super thin and flexible. So be careful when you're cleaning your lashes on these ones. The lashes don't have much of a shine to them. Um, I'm just going to trim down the edges um, that are kind of sticking out from the lash band. And then let's put some glue. Now I love Kiss Lashes. I also reviewed those here on my channel. I'm telling you guys, like you need a lash review, I got you. I've pretty much done, I've done so many lash reviews, you guys. I, I can't remember all the brands that I've reviewed at this point. Um, but yeah, I did a review on Kiss Lashes that are at Walmart. Um, make sure you see that one as well. This one has like adhesive on it. So I'm going to peel that off. And then did this one have it as well? Yeah. It has like a dark adhesive on it. It looks kind of like black. Let's put some of this here. Let me know what Kiss Lashes you like the most. Um, I don't think I broke out from Kiss Lashes. Y'all know I have bad allergies, so um, I'm allergic to certain bands. But um, yeah, I don't think I broke out from Kiss. So let's go ahead and put this one on. I'm gonna give it a bend. Just makes it easier when you bend it to put on your lids. Ooh, okay, that went on real easy. This one has a couple of hairs that like keep falling off. So just be like, they're getting stuck to my fingers. See, be careful putting this one on. Okay. Okay. This is what chiffon looks like. What do you all think? Okay, so because this band was so flexible and so lightweight, it is super comfortable. This one, again, feels like you're not wearing lashes at all. The only indicator that you are wearing them is that when you look straight ahead, you see lashes towards the edges of your eye. And it's because I want to say these lashes get a little bit more fuller towards the edges. So you definitely see some hairs there. Um, they do poke around your lid space. It's not too bad, so it won't bother you. Now, as far as how these look, these are stunning. You guys know I love medium to large lashes. Lashes. These are absolutely beautiful with eyeliner and without eyeliner. Like, look at the definition. Look at how strategically placed, like, the wisp is, where basically it goes lighter lash, thicker lash, lighter lash. And these are kind of like the typical lashes you see out there, but this one looks different. This one is not really overpowering your eyes. It's not overpowering your makeup look. Like, you guys, I'm wearing red lipstick, and I feel like the lashes just blend all together with the look. They're not those big wispy lashes that just overtake your look completely, where everything you did on your face is like, let's disregard that and stare at her lashes because they're so darn big. No, these are beautiful. Kiss is an amazing brand. So let me go ahead and put on eyeliner on the right eye so I don't look like a freakazoid, and then I will give you my verdict. 
Okay, so I'm back. I put on eyeliner on the right eye. Now let's recap. So all of these lashes I found at Target were under $10. I gave you guys a variety. So we went with the first lash, which was like a really, like it looked in the packaging like a thick, bushy lash. But once it was on, it looked like lash extensions. Now the second pair was something that was more natural and tapered, but in a nice way where it still helps open up the eyes and add to your existing eyelashes. These ones right here are the star of the show. They are the big lashes that are just so beautiful. Beautiful. You can totally get away with these lashes with wearing a look that's natural, uh, daytime look, nighttime look. They're super comfortable. All these lashes were comfortable, easy to clean. Um, and just be very gentle because, of course, you could rip your lashes if you're not gentle. If you do, just glue them back together. Just add some adhesive to where you maybe broke them and everything will be good. But I love Target. I love these lashes. Therefore, my verdict is guilty of being worthy of your dollars. You saw why under $10, you really can't beat that. And what's nice is that you do get a variety. So anyways, let me know if you found this video very informative. Please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so you get notified of every time that I do upload a video. Always be kind and please spread peace, love, and happiness. I will see you all in my next video.